To convert moles of NaCl to grams, that's sodium chloride, we'll use this map here to guide our work. So we have moles of NaCl and we want to find grams. So this is our typical problem here. We're given 5.23 moles of NaCl. We want to find grams. So we start with moles and we go to grams. And that means we multiply by the molar mass of NaCl. So to find the molar mass of NaCl, we go to the periodic table. Sodium is 22.99 grams per mole plus chlorine. 35.45 grams per mole. We add those up and we get 58.44 and the units are grams per mole. So this is the molar mass for NaCl and it's also the conversion factor. So we start with moles, 5.23 moles of NaCl. We multiply by the molar mass, 58.44 grams per mole. And when we do that, multiply the top, divide by the bottom, the moles, those cancel out, and we're left with 305.64 grams of NaCl. So we've converted from moles of NaCl to grams. There's another way you'll see this done. It's really the same way. This is preferred by teachers. It's called dimensional analysis or factor label. You draw a line from here to here, and then we're going to draw a line here between the two to replace the multiplication symbol. So with this method, we're still multiplying by our molar mass. We're calling it a conversion factor, and we're saying there's 58.44 grams in one mole, so it's the same deal. We multiply the top, divide by the bottom, the moles cancel out, and we have the same answer. We're left with these grams here. You can kind of think of it that we have the desired quantity. We want to find grams over the given. We're given moles. That's how you set your conversion factor up, and then you make sure the moles cancel out and leave you with what you're looking for. Either way, you'll get the same answer. This is Dr. B with how to convert from moles of NaCl to grams. Thanks for watching.